Uh, Sean, so uh, one of the topics involved in the study of IGCC history is the Cuban Missile Crisis. Could you tell us a bit more about it? Certainly, uh, Catherine, of course. Um, when Castro came to power in Cuba, um, he chucked out the former leader of Cuba, who was, a, who was very close to America, and Castro decided his regime would be kind of communist come nationalist, and that he would be a, a shining example of, of, of a communist state in, in the South Americas. Um, became a friend of um, Russia, uh, he visited Moscow, and this alarmed America because, of course, Cuba is only 90 miles from the coast sure of America. So um, the relationship between Russia and Cuba was very strong. And then what made things more worrying for America was when in 1962, Russia decided to plant some missiles in Cuba to defend Cuba against a, a possible attack from America. Khrushchev's rationale was, if the Americans have rockets aiming at, aimed at us in Turkey, why don't we put some missiles into Cuba? Um, this was fraught with problems because once America found out, uh, the, the, the ships who were on their way to Cuba to reinforce the missile installation were intercepted by the Americans, quarantine was put into place, and Khrushchev had to then admit there were missiles in Cuba. And he, he backed down, he, but he, he was clever because um, he basically said to President Kennedy, the American president, if you promise not to invade Cuba, then we will take our missiles out of Cuba, um, which, which seemed a very fair point. What wasn't known at the time was that the American missiles in Turkey were removed secretly. The American public didn't know about that. And so at the end of the day, it was a, it was a very tense time, almost uh, leading to a third world war. It, it, but at the end, Kennedy came out of it on top. Khrushchev later disappeared from view. And it's one of the defining points of the Cold War, uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Mm. Thank you very much. That was very, very insightful. Pleasure.